In this video, I'm going to be showing you the best bunch defense in Madden 23, at least in my opinion, with the current way that the game is playing and working. Um, I'm finding myself coming back to um, the Dime 146, and the reason why the Dime 146 is so powerful is I did an entire uh, I did an entire defensive ebook on the Dime 146. And we're going to show you why it's so powerful in this video, specifically for the bunch meta, uh, why it's better than dollar, in my opinion, and also why um, I think it's just the best uh, best defense right now in the game. So I, I loaded up the West Coast playbook here, and uh, we're going to use wide receiver post to kind of break this down. Now, what you want to do when you're running this defense is ideally you want to either come out in DB Sting or you want to come out in um, DB Sting 2. Okay, so you'll see here, we're going to come out in DB Sting 2 Buzz, and we'll show you kind of what's going on. So, I love this defense. I think it released this defense. I, I can't remember how long ago, uh, but it stood the test of time this season. I think I released it literally the second week the game was out. If you want to get the ebook again, join the Patreon. You get all the ebooks. We got 10 ebooks right now. One of them, we did we did release a brand new defense this week in the 4-3 even 6-1 and it's a really good defense too um but this right here is and i'm going to show you why it's so good so the main reason why this is so good um is because you can get pressure only you can get double edge pressure only sending five so uh what we're going to do is we're going to go to db sting two and we're going to pinch our line and then i'm going to use her you know you can kind of use her whoever you want so like let's say you want to use her this safety which i actually think is a, is actually not a bad way to use to run this defense you could do something like this and um because these guys in the interior can actually cover um it allows you to man this guy up on the running back and man this guy up on the tight end and then we're going to stand you know right about here and what you'll see is um this is wide receiver post and we're still able to get pretty decent pressure even against a block eight or I'm sorry, a block seven type of type of vibe. So even if they're blocking eight, we're going to be able to a lot of times come in. Now, another thing you can do with this um, is you can actually move this guy off the edge and put him on a contain. Now, let's say you wanted to, the, to leave your safeties up top. You can do that as well. So the beauty of Dime 146 is just like nickel over, there's multiple ways that we can run the defense, which I actually think is really helpful. Um, and also, when you man up that linebacker right there on the right side, if you man him up on the slot receiver, he does a pretty decent job at guarding corner routes. But if you'll notice this contain here, this contain is still really good. Uh, it's really a good concept to loop around. And I'll show you how we can kind of guarantee pressure against max protect. So let's say that they are um, going with a max protect. Then all we need to do is basically blitz. Um, we're just going to blitz a, an additional player. So, you know, you can... I wouldn't recommend doing that, um, but if you do want to, I would bring this safety down right, right here, and then I would man that guy up on the tight end. This is really good bunch defense because now, even if the tight end goes on a route, we have him covered, and now our responsibility is the running back. And what you should see here is we should get pretty decent pressure um, even against a running back blocking. So the beauty of this is the formation itself is really adaptable to how they're running their pass protection. Are they running a max protect pass protection? Then we can probably try to send a max pressure look like that. And as you see there, we're getting instant pressure against block eight. Are they putting their their uh, are they running their their tight end on a route? Which this is the most common pass protection. Where basically what we're going to do is we're going to put the tight end out on a route. You know, so maybe you do a defense like this, and what you should see here is we should get pressure off of both sides, okay? So you have the ability to really adapt the pressure based off the off of the situation. You can, if you want to, by the way, you can you can run this. Whoops. Um, you can run this on a base alignment, and the reason you might want to do that is it just gets that guy on the right side out a little bit more. If you were going to do that, my recommendation would be to back up this guy that's guarding the outside receiver. Uh, I just find that it's a little bit better to play off coverage with this kind of defense. Um, you know, do something like this. And again, you see here. And again, I'm obviously blocking eight, but you're seeing we're still how, how good the pressure is. Now, if they send five out, which this year I don't, I think you'd be crazy. Um, I think you'd be absolutely crazy to send five out in this year's game. But if they do it, or at least like be aware you're going to get screamed at, um, you'll see how fast this comes in. You should get double edge pressure, super fast heat, right there, boom. 
So this is a great, great defense. Now, another th reason why this defense is so good is because there's only three guys rushing the passer. So we could run like cover two sink, for example, and maybe do something like, like this, like a max coverage. And these three sheds, these sheds are really good. You'll get really crazy good sheds. So there you see they're blocking eight. He only had a minute or two to throw the ball. So, you know, you can adapt this as well. You could, you could run a max coverage, uh, a man-to-man -man max coverage defense. So they're going to block everybody trying to, you know, trying to keep you from, from, from screaming at them every play. Now you go to something like this, which I think this is the best way to run max coverage man this year. And then now what you see is, look at this. Look how fast we're shedding. Look how fast we're shedding in this formation. So this formation is super powerful. Obviously, um, there's so much more that we discuss in the ebook that we're not going to, over, going to go over in this video. So if you want to learn how to run Dime 146 at the highest of levels, I would really encourage you to join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up for uh, the Patreon. And like I said, it gets you access to everything. You get all the ebooks. You get all the updates to the ebooks. And uh, the Dime 146, I think, is just such a powerful, powerful formation this year.